are at a very early press breakfast for Fox, where they're promoting two of their shows, and one of them is Cosmos, where they're bringing science to primetime in 2014. So, you plan to make science interesting, but I think there are a number of high school students who will be skeptical of that mission. Well, I'm not making science interesting. It already is. I'm, I'm <laughs> revealing the fact that it's interesting. That's the difference. To make it interesting implies, no, I got to do surgery here. No. Well, what's everyone doing wrong? Why, why do so many people make science boring? Because they think science is a collection of facts that you open a textbook to learn, rather than a soaring exploration to understand who we are and our place in the universe. How are you planning to make it fit with the Fox brand while still keeping it sciencey? Well, that was the great thing, is that Fox didn't ask us to do that. Oh. Fox said, <laughs> Fox said, you, this is a masterpiece, the original series. Mm -hmm. Don't mess with it too much. You know, do make it new. And so all the stories we're telling have never been told before. It's completely, I rewrote an entire, I wrote a, a whole new series. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's all new. So what's this ship I keep hearing about? So we'll debut the Ship of the Imagination uh, tomorrow evening here at Comic-Con. And uh, this uh, follows uh, faithfully um, the... Uh, same concept that uh, Carl Sagan uh, executed with Annie Drian in the original series. Um, we've made more of it though and we find that it's an entertaining way for uh, Neil to essentially have a um, space vehicle um, to travel through the topics that we cover. Out the front window is where we are. The floor opens up on my command and that's the past and we can choose to go into the past and the ceiling opens up on my command and we go into the future. So. We can go anywhere we want in the universe to bring events and phenomena and, and, and uh, all, all, everything we need to do, we can bring through these portals and then present it to you. Okay, so we got the teenage market, the youth market covered, but what about adults who hear a science show and think, oh, Bill Nye, you know, it's fun, I loved it when I was a kid, but it's not for a grown-up. Yeah, no, this is different, this is different. We have uh, many different storytelling tools that we think will be of interest to a diverse audience, young and old, and um, having, you know, uh, uh, Cosmos on Fox, the audience, the Fox audience says, well, wait, maybe I ought to pay attention to this. That's why we're so thrilled to have the support we do from Fox and Fox International. And then we have Seth, and the audience that follows Seth to anything he does, deservedly so, turns around and says, Fox, Seth, this must be interesting. Um, for, for an older audience, um, they know who Carl Sagan uh, was, and they respect his legacy. And they have to presume here that um, we would not attempt this without knowing that we can... Um, uh, create a worthy uh, success of the original series, and um, and we think we have. What do you think Carl would think of the show if you were to see this new version? I think about that every with every beat of my heart, and I actually think he would be thrilled. And I know that all the people in our family and our friends, they keep telling me that he would be so, so happy. He mentored Neil deGrasse Tyson when he was a kid in the Bronx. So it's, Cosmos has a lot of feeling in it, a lot of emotion in it. And I don't think there's any show quite like it. It's, uh, there are a lot of great science-based documentaries, first-rate ones. This is about something beyond that. Audience yet. I mean, I know you've done lots yeah, of the internet. This is, you know, prime time network television. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, a little scary. Um, right now, I mean, even before Cosmos, I'm, you know, sort of ID'd on the street maybe a hundred times a day. And what's, what I find charming about that is most of them, they'll see me, oh, you, Tyson? So, yeah, say, tell me more about the black hole. Tell me more about Pluto. So, they're not asking me my favorite color. So, it's a different kind of celebrity. It's the celebrity is the science itself, and I'm just the, 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 the conduit that people are using to access their actual goal.